Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. I thought we'd go over a few issues raised by various comments I've received. Today, can morals be based on the general well-being of society? This question is in response to my previous claims that morals can only be adequately based on God, his nature, and his will. Of course, we're talking here about objective morals. Subjective morals don't need to be based in society. The question here is whether a valid, binding set of moral values and duties can be rational if all you have to base it on is the well-being of society in general. Basing moral values on the well-being of society is a bit tricky. To do things this way, you'd need to define moral right as being anything that affects society in a good way, and wrong as being anything that affects society in a bad way, which is very different from how we usually define those terms. There are many problems with trying to center objective moral values around the well-being of society, however. For one thing, it doesn't apply to certain things, like rape. In this view of morality, rape isn't really wrong because it doesn't obviously affect society in an adverse way. It infringes on the rights of an individual human person, but unless morality has obligations with respect to individuals and not just societies, that's not a valid argument. If the well-being of society is all you have to go by, there wouldn't be any moral obligations to individuals except for obligations that benefited society. Likewise, many horrible crimes have been committed which societies, by and large, have benefited from. The Roman Empire, for example, grew extremely rich by conquering and enslaving nearly everyone in sight. They maintained their power by forcing peace on people by the sword and reaped vast benefits from it. The eventual downfall of the Roman Empire was due to completely different factors from the crimes they committed. On this view of morality, the Roman Empire didn't do anything wrong when it went around conquering and subjugating whole nations. So, under the circumstances, I don't think the societal moral belief system holds enough water to be taken too seriously. Next, can we really have free will if hell exists? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.